Good morning, everyone. Today, we're going to be talking about the Iridium weapons or the Iridium weapons, depending on how you want to pronounce it. But uh, we finally got something good after several months of farming. But before we jump into all of that, if you're new to the channel, I upload NGS content daily. So if you do play this game, I would really appreciate a subscribe as it really helps out the channel. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin the video. So the very first thing I want to talk about is, of course, my Wingard Katana. Many people think that I am best in slot with my Wingard Katana and my armors and all of that stuff. However, that isn't exactly the case. As you can see here, I do have Tough Mind, I do have Tri Shield, and I do have Gradual Pressing. The issue over here is a lot of people don't know, or maybe they just forgot about it, but there is a letter behind the EX Augment, and the letter determines what extra stats you get. So when we look at my EX Tough Mind, you can see that it ends with an X, and that actually means that this Augment will give me an additional 15 HP and 2 PP, versus my Tri Shield, which ends with a P, which actually just gives me plus 3 PP, and that's it, nothing else versus the gradual pressing R, which just gives me all down resistance plus 5%. So, you know, these aren't that great, especially the R and the P, because, you know, I would much rather have the X variant get that 15 HP and 2 PP on all of my different EX augments. And well, it just so happened that after months of farming, we finally got the trifecta. Now, is this exactly what I wanted? Not perfectly, but close enough. And honestly, I don't think RNG is going to bless me any further after this. So as we can see here, we do have EX Tri Shield X, EX Tough Mind X, as well as EX Enemy Failed PP Gained X. So first of all, they are all X. So that means we get 45 HP total, as well as six additional PP just from these three augments alone. And that is, you know, that's amazing because these are bonus stats that are just added on top of the normal effects that the Tri Shield Tough Mind as well as Enemy Fail PP gain gives me. Now, the reason why I personally am still going to be using this is because when I have EX Enemy Fail PP gain, that means when I farm in a PSE combat zone, I actually don't need to use the four subclass anymore because this gives me six PP whenever I defeat a nearby enemy. So I don't need the PP eradication with the four subclass to regenerate my PP in a combat zone so that, you know, I can just continue to spam PAs as well as techniques. So this is definitely really, really nice. But the main thing that I wanted to showcase, of course, is we got Tri Shield X, we got Tough Mind X, and whatever the third stat was, was also an X variant. So that is just amazing. So with that being said, we are simply going to be transferring all of these EX augments onto my existing weapon. And I'll show you what that looks like in case some people have not seen it. Because I know a lot of people usually just upgrade their weapon once and then they augment it and they just forget about it. So they don't know that there is this transfer system. So what you need to do is go to the augment transfer in the item lab and go to EX augment transfer. All right. And then the first thing you need to do is select the base item. This is your permanent item, the one that you want to keep. All right. So you're going to select your Wingard Katana over here. Then you're going to select a material item. This is the one that will be consumed in order to transfer those EX augments. As you can see, when I highlight over the Iridium boots over here, you can see that it will replace my Gradual Pressing R with Tri Shield X, my Tri Shield P with Tough Mind X, and my Tough Mind X with EX Enemy Failed PP Gain X. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to say yes. And bada bing, bada boom, it's done. There is no RNG involved in this. This has a 100% success rate. And there we go. Now you can see the EX augments are now exchanged. They are all of the X variant. If we look at my weapon alone, it actually gives me 120 HP as well as 19 PP raw stats on the weapon alone, which is actually pretty amazing. Like if we look at my armors, my armors don't even give me that much HP. My armors only give me 115 HP and 25 PP each. So this is pretty incredible simply because because of the extra 45 HP as well as 6 PP that we're gaining from our regular augments. Now, as for my final stats, we can see over here to character confirmation, you can see that I now have 1,359 HP and 234 PP. That is actually insane. So um, yeah, those stats do matter. However, are they something that you should definitely go for like on day one and only go for best in slot? Probably not. 
what I would recommend people to do is look at which EX augments you actually want. So in my case, you know, I put a lot of value on Tri Shield as well as Tough Mind. So it doesn't matter what the last letter is, as long as I can get these two on a single weapon, then it's good enough for me because these I put a lot of value on these two defensive uh, EX augments. So as long as I have them, it's good enough. Um, however, something to keep in mind is after you transfer those EX augments, remember those EX augments were on the Iridium boots over here, the augment transfer actually strips all of those EX augments out of the Iridium weapon. So this is just an empty weapon now, which is actually absolutely useless. So we can simply just sell it and just get rid of it and wabam. Special thanks to all the members for supporting the channel. It really means a lot to me. Thank you again. But yeah, that's all I wanted to cover in today's video. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. If you did, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.